Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of warfare from the age of steel ships and big guns, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts. Uh, this is an alpha uh, it's a it's an alpha that's available for public purchase at the Ultimate Admiral uh, Admiral's website. There's another game I think is also an alpha. I think it's Age of Sail, something like that. I picked this one, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's clearly an alpha. That's uh, there's no campaign, there's no manual. Um, Things are changing all the time, and, uh, but but what I've seen so far is very cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the shipyard, we're going to build a ship, and we're going to go and fight. I think we're going to build two ships, and we're going to go and fight. So you get a chance to get a look at this thing and imagine what it will be like in a campaign mode. So what do you say we jump right into the Naval Academy? and get after it but before we do hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you've been watching for that matter if you've only been watching for one minute you've never seen it before please consider subscribing hitting that bell notification so you know when i uh post another video like and share like the video is the easiest thing you can do to help the the uh the channel and Please let me know what you think of the video. Tell me what you'd like to see. Okay, we're going to do this one because I've actually won it. I've tried this one over and over again. I keep getting beat down. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to jump in here. The enemy dreadnoughts possess powerful guns and strong armor. You must try to defeat them by having a fleet of more numerous pre-dreadnoughts. You can choose between three pre-dreadnought hull designs. Now, um. Actually, uh, well, I just finished playing this a few minutes ago, and there weren't no more numerous. I had, I had two, two count them two dreadnoughts, and it might be that I could have priced it differently and come up with three. I don't know. I thought about that. Anyway, we have bonuses. We can have a lot more money, or we can have a boost to technology. So, what do you say we take the technology boost? Uh, and you can see it gets, you know, uh, gun, small guns, big gun tech, control station tech, all kinds of nice technology. We're going to need that to beat uh, uh, real live dreadnoughts. And uh, over here, we just end up with 25 million more dollars. We're going to get started. Now it's nice. You get these really cool cut scenes that give you neat pictures of uh, period ships and a... Uh, Brief explanation of what they are. Sometimes it's personalities, and uh, I kind of think that's cool. All right, here we are in the shipyard, <clears throat> and I have got a good bit of congestion happening here. Cough button. Yeah, that's much better. So we have three hull possibilities, Battleship 2, Battleship 1, old pre-dreadnought um i think we're going for the most advanced hull technology most advanced most advanced hull anyway uh you've got your total displacement we can take it all the way up to 16,500 if we want let's leave it back there for just a minute let's knock the speed down a little bit let's shoot for a 22 knot let's make it very short range we're kind of cheating but you can imagine how this affects uh, if you were playing the Americans and you wanted to have, uh, you know, to deal with uh, in the Pacific, maybe you'd want very long range, you know, and all well, that costs you weight and money. We're going to take some pounding. Let's kick that up to many bulkheads and see if we can still get it done. If not, we can go back to standard. Um, steam engines. Let's go for turbines. Let's go for oil. Let's go for induced boards. We may have to change that. Let's get the best armor we can. We're running out of tonnage long before we run out of money. No barbettes. We don't have room for super firing here. There's just doesn't work with that hull. Looks like single bottoms all we can get. Let's get re oh we only get standard uh, bulkheads. And we're going to have Citadel 1. 
Now, these are all different technologies that change all the different way, you know, weight, construction time, armor weight, engine damage, all this good stuff. We're just stepping through this quickly. This isn't meant to be uh, a, a perfect explanation of everything. I don't understand everything. I'm playing with it. We're playing against Dreadnoughts. Let's take shells, see if we can afford that. We'll stick with standard ammo. No torpedoes. We're going to go for... Ooh, we only got black powder. Ooh. But we could have electrohydraulic turrets. Let's try... Uh, plus 5% main gun weight. Plus 7.5% main gun weight. Uh, let's go with electric and see if we can wedge that in. We've and let's go for, my God, you can't get double, triple hulls, but we can get all kinds of uh, enhanced gun reloads. Let's go for enhanced gun reload. We'll play with that later. Now, we can come play with armor, but we don't know what we got left to play with. We've still got a lot of money to spend. We don't have a hell of a lot of tonnage left. Okay, main towers, these are about... Aiming speed, accuracy, all that kind of good stuff. Let's get the best we can get. Front tower, best we can get. Rear tower, 65%. Funnels, I don't understand. I really don't. Um, I don't know. You can see this, this funnel capacity. We're going to go for a triple ton. And right now we have a four weight offset of 2.6. So we're going to we're going to set these f f as far forward as we can because typically the rear turret gets real heavy. So we're going to get as much weight up front as we can. And we still got we don't need barbet since we don't have super firing guns. Main guns. Now last time I played with this, all I could wedge on here was 13 inches. Let's see if we can get a triple 13 inch. May not be able to. Uh, four weight offset. Fifteen percent. Some parts are badly placed. No, they are. Well, we still got. We still have a forward weight problem. So let's move that back. How much just a difference? Yeah, it's a little bit. Ah. Uh, here we go. Barbets, no main guns. We've done secondary guns. She's still bow heavy as she can be. I don't know if we can get eight inches on her. I'm just curious. Nope. How about six inches? Nope. Let's, oh, we've only got casemates. We don't have secondary gun positions. So let's go to the casemate guns. We get seven inch casemates? Yes, we can. We can put one here. Here, right here, right here. They're running out of tonnage fast, but we got a bunch of seven-inch guns. Other secondaries. Uh, any place for five-inch secondaries? Nope. Four-inch secondaries. Nope. Three-inch secondaries. Nope. How about two-inch secondaries? Ah, uh, no, not on this hull. We're not going to be using torpedoes. If I remember right, it said there was none of that available. All right, we still have almost a thousand tons of, uh, almost a thousand tons. I wonder. And a lot of weight. Let's move this to a full 16,500. Now you see, that actually reduced our discretionary weight a bit. Matter of fact, more than a little bit. Um, but did it change anything? Nope. No places for that. 
Um, well, let's see. Ooh, that gets us to 93, 92. Actually, it gives us 1% better. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think that leaves us with... Uh, can't do anything there. We might be able to... Yeah, we can pop more bulkheads for... I'm not sure that's important. If we're dealing with torpedoes, that might be more important. In fact, let's go back to standard. That leaves us a lot for increasing armor. Oh, look, it'll let me change it. 12. Whew, that used up a bunch of weight. 12-inch belt. Let's go to a 14-inch belt. Yep. Belt extent, let's go to 8 inches. Oh, nice. Deck armor, let's go, to, well, let's go to 6 inches of deck armor. Oh, ship just got overweight. Um, back to, say, 4 inches of deck armor. Okay, we still got a little bit to play with. Belt, the turrets are 10. Can we get another inch of armor? Yeah, we can get another inch of armor to turret. We still have... Let's get that up to 2 on the top. Get that to 6 on the secondaries. Yeah, we can. We're having fun now. What if we take the conning tower to 12? Uh, deck armor is apparently a big deal. There's a lot of it. And we'll just take that right up to the max. And she's overweight. Now, we could kick her speed down a couple of knots and get more protection. Might not be a bad idea going against super dreadnoughts. What if we went to a 21 knot? That didn't add. That didn't change it that much. If we go to 21 knots, we could add more protection. A um, bit more deck. Can we get the deck to six inches with that? No. But we can get it to 5.7. Uh, you know, she's heavy forward. I don't know if we can change that. If we go back this way, it gets worse. So she's as far out as she can be. Whoa, I didn't think I could set it that far. I thought it had to be set where those little pluses are. But apparently... Well, okay. Now, that's out of curiosity. Secondary guns, five inches. Oh my god, what that tells me is there might have been room. No. She needs to be there, but that can be set way back. And that... Oh, now she's got an aft weight offset of 10. Oh, nice! Four weight offset of 1.8. Uh, what if we put a secondary gun... Will she fit in there? No. No, no, she overlaps. Uh, a barbette there might be kind of cool. I don't think we can... Might be overweight, but let's find out. They're just not available. Wait a minute. Yes, they are. Barbette 1. No, they aren't. Oh, well. Back to secondary guns. <clears throat> Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Wait a minute.
ship is overweight. Yeah. And that gun is in a stupid position. Let's take her out of there. <laughs> Let's just not do that. Oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. Um, use the last bit of our... Uh, let's take that down. Let's see if we can use turret tops. Last bit of our way to get the turret tops up a little bit. And I think she's okay. Now, you can go up here and you can auto-design if you wish. And then play with it. Or you can clear the whole thing start all over again. This ship's a bit forward. Now, you can see the ship details over here. You see her displacement resistance, which, you know, without having definitions, I don't know. Stability, floatability, engine power, top speed, course change time, course change time at full speed, accelerations, turning rates, visibility ranges, um, weapons, 2, 3 inch, 13 inch, 10, 7 inch, plus 34% base accuracy, plus 45% long range accuracy, minus, minus, minus penalties, plus 33%, and your belts. And the total weights and costs of everything. Uh, okay. Oh, these are sweet. Detections for surface visibility and tower spotting. Hull towers. I mean, there's stuff here I don't even understand. Um, taking her to 21 knots is too much. She gets a little too heavy. What would I have to give up? Turret top. Apparently a lot on the secondaries. And that gets her in. Uh, down on a turret top. Good enough. Uh-oh. Oh, that was brilliant. Uh, 1.7. All right. Anyway, enough playing around with this. What do you say we get out there and fight? Now, we, again, we have this neat cut screens of pictures of cool old ships. And we're ready to go. To, uh, we're going against the Austro-Hungarians. And we're in the United States, the Long Beach and the Texas. Now, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to detach. That way I can tell these guys to pick on individuals. I don't know if the game models uh, the problem of enemies that are not engaged having a better... better shooting. You know, they'd already test her. You know. Also, when you have two ships shooting at one, it's harder for them to tell whose shells, where the shell splashes are, whose they are. Ooh, that was close. Let's take a pretty good turn there. And a bit more. Now, this is playing at normal speed kick it up a little bit. The secondaries are just having it out. <clears throat> Both these guys are focusing on the lead on the Long Beach. Okay, so we're wriggling around trying to throw their aim off, but since they don't seem to be firing at the Texas, We actually hurt that one a little bit. Yeah, they are really focusing on the Long Beach. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, they... That was a big hit. Yeah, uh, that might have been a winning blow right there. That might have been what just won the game for the Austro-Hungarians. Unless we get some payback pretty quick. That is not a CA. 
That is a patrol ship. I think the game's beautiful. It's on the highest graphics setting right now. Come on, get a piece of it. Yeah, dip. It didn't do any damage. Ouch! And again, we're taking some poundings. So Long Beach slowing down. I don't know, it's hard to say. But she has taken some serious structural damage. And she's not getting a piece of the action here. Let's do a pretty radical course change. Come on now. Paybacks. Ah, they decided to pick on the Texas. Now we've got a nice hit there. All right. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, nice hit. Almost payback for the what she took, but not really. All right, we uh, ding. Secondary talented is very pretty. Lordy. Ouch. 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 Oh. Yeah, this is not a winning game. I don't think I don't think we're gonna win this one, Leroy. They're too far behind in the far, far behind on the attrition. Come on, guys. One good, one good hit. Fourteen inches. My God, we're getting, we're outgunned. Something fierce. They have some control problems here. Probably probably player induced. Well that was nice. Not enough. That was nice, but still not enough. I wonder I don't know if I could have fit fourteen inches in here. These thirteen inches are not getting the job done. If they're not even getting the hits. Well, there we go. That was a little help. Thump, thump, thump. We can also go look. Come on, guys. Boom, boom. That was nice. You can also go look at our enemies. Oh my god. No wonder we're getting pounded. Five, six, fourteen inch turrets. I'm surprised we're still here. Ouch. They've decided to take the Long Beach down, and they're doing a good job of it. Alright, what the hell. Since it seems to be working for them to concentrate on one guy.
Come on, guys. Come on, we need a lucky hit. Because otherwise, we are really toast. Nice. Oh, the Texas is in such trouble! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a Long Beach. Very sweet. I think I'm going to love this game. He's turned away. Come on, Long Beach. Hang in there, baby. Pay him back. Yeah, they're trying to protect whatever that is. Tugan Dafta. Oh, Lord. You better turn your fire there. Ouch! She's about done. She's about done. That was devastating. See, I'm having fun with the with the camera right now, aren't I? Maybe a little too sensitive. I think there's a mouth sensitivity rate setting that I need to change. Well, that's nice. Not a lot of damage, but some. Oh, she is so screwed. Thump, 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 thump. Come on, guys. Oh, they're just the armor's too good. We're getting good hits, and it's just not taking them down. It's just not working. Oh, 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 pause, pause. Last bunch of hits. Let's back up. It's too noisy. Back over there. That's still going to be too noisy. Well, I don't know how to change that. It's an alpha build, guys. It's. Oh, oh, oh. It's an alpha build. Those last hits, you can look at them in 1901. Inches damage, inches damage, 13 inch hits, BB, mid belt, ammo detonation, that's what got her. There it is, you can see it in the upper right, the, where it says structure hero. I don't know if I can focus on her, right? Not while it's paused. Okay, they've switched, but I can't make it stay. But that's what got her. She had an ammo detonation. Well, that was lucky. What is she doing? Is she still the fight? She hasn't run away. She's still playing. And she's still trying to finish off the Long Beach. And she just might. Alright, let's kick it back up to two times speed. Thump, thump, thump! <laughs> Be very cool to win this one after almost losing to Long Beach. In fact, let's see if we can get her to run away. I don't know how, what a real speed is. I haven't figured this all out. 
Let's turn her away. Yep, the Texas has an advantage right now. That with the half firing guns here, maybe we can maybe we can finish her off without losing the tech to the Long Beach. Get her! Oh sweet. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she's got really good armor. Really good armor, but she's still getting torn off. Now the seven inches are doing a little damage. Payback! Main guns in. Oh, stop. Boom! Sinking due to structural damage. We won. I am amazed. I am amazed. Mission complete. And there you go. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of these videos. I don't know. I'll I'm going to be playing with this some more. Heck, I may just go and buy the uh, the Age of Sail game because this is awesome. So the Age of Sail game's got to be just sweet as it can be too but we're gonna give it all a try uh at one time or another uh maybe maybe i'll do some of these other ones as a videos uh, some of these up here look interesting i need to play a little bit more to figure out what's going on but anyway i hope you like what you saw i hope you enjoyed the video i hope that you're enjoying looking forward to this game because if this is your kind of thing <laughs> i'm thinking it's just going to be crazy good in a campaign game um uh, and there you go. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.